What's up guys, what's going on? Dank back again, and today we're going to be looking at the Fierce Battle Excellence gameplay for Kenpachi, uh, Aizen, and Ichigo. So, check them out, uh, we'll let it play first, and then I'll do a quick little what I think afterwards, and we'll just go through all three and see what's going on. So, we'll start off with Ichigo here. Uh, pretty hype, man. I mean, Ichigo unleashes his mighty Bankai, tenses on Getsu to fight to protect everything he holds dear. Pretty that's each again. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Bankai. Nice. Tensa Zangets. Bokuno. All right. Okay. Those full screens. Being forward. Dash forward. Nad string. Okay. Okay. Uh, my internet. I don't know why, but just a little bit after that. Okay. One more time of the gameplay. Um, so, standard SA3, uh, full screen, awesome. After the transformation, awesome. With the uh, blue Shikai energy and then the uh, Bankai red and black energy on the SA3, uh, as well as the SA2 and SA1, uh, it's it, it's Ichigo. I mean, uh, Soul Society Arc Ichigo is one of my favorite um, iterations of the character. Just him coming into his power is really awesome. And... I don't know, man. Pretty, pretty solid character. Um, his kit is, I guess, what we've come to expect for strong attack melee characters with a SA3 full widescreen. Uh, then you have the SA2 being a like kind of wide beam forward, and then the SA3 either being a um, another either like a beam forward or a lunge or dash forward too. So pretty, pretty standard kit, but the skills look pretty solid. So, all right, awesome, Ichigo. And I got the ten no zano ku hakumo. They got the they got the light. Watashi ga ten ni tatsu. Oh wait 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 wait. What's the transformation? I can't really tell the difference too much. Okay, so that's definitely different after the change. Oh, oh, I see. I see what they're doing with it. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. So everything changes, obviously after his transformation, um, after he uses a special. But it looks like all of his skills are, like his SA3 and his SA1, the animations are darker, so they have the, uh, the, the purple energy, rather than just the standard white energy, like right there. Really cool. So again, standard, I, I hate to keep saying standard, but um, it, it's definitely what, like I said, we've come to expect for strong attack characters. Widescreen SA3, uh, with Aizen, obviously, he's got a shield, so it's not like a beam forward or any kind of wide area of attack. But it, it definitely looks cool, and shield barrier characters are really, really fun to play with, especially in uh, stronger content, like Inheritance Zone, Extreme Droplet Zone, that kind of stuff. But that, not a bad character. I, I don't know why they put Power Past Retsu's last hit of her Nad String as his SA1. Uh, it's some keto, it's a Hiropakeno or something like that, but I, okay, sure. I mean, he looks cool. <laughs> his transformation is literally just him slicking his hair back and pulling off his glasses. Typical Aizen, <laughs> but okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, not each go. And Kenny. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, um, so for Kenny's, his look um, very similar after the transformation. It's it's only a slight variant. Like on his SA3 right here, he has the energy pulsing out away from the circle. It's just like maybe more flames coming off. Yeah, it just, it just looks like more reacts for him. So nothing super flashy, but noticeable. And again, uh, you know, the standard come to expect kind of kit for uh, strong attack characters. I, I'm, all three characters look fantastic. They they got really really good kits. Their usability seems to be pretty fun. Um, the the only thing I'm I'm a little bit anxious for is the actual gameplay. Like whenever we get them into the uh, into the shop and we can actually test play them, because um, you can only really tell so much whenever you're just seeing the gameplay and having somebody else control them. But I, I'm, I'm excited, man. It'll be a pretty fun banner. I think I might only go up to, like, step two just because while I am hyped for it, I still think that Valentine's Day and um, subsequent Can't Figure Your Own World are going to be better characters, or at least as far as, you know, for me. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, man. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you're excited, as excited as I am. And uh, best of luck on the banner pulls. So we'll see you later. Peace.